Hello, this is Dr. Lennon, and uh, I'm going to go over a few examples to help you with the cool polynomials project. Uh, so the first one is looking at uh, nested polynomials, so let's just do one of those examples really quick. Um, so we're going to look at x to the fourth power um, minus 3x to the third power plus 7x squared. plus 5x minus 2 equals 0. So in order to write something like this in nested form, you just basically look at all the coefficients you have. So the first coefficient is 1, the second is negative 3, then you have a 7, a 5, and a minus 2. So what we want to do is we just want to kind of write down those coefficients. So the biggest power we keep is x minus 3. So that's the, the most basic polynomial. Then we do a set of parentheses and we multiply by an x. So you'll notice now this would make this an x to the second power and then multiplying through we'd have minus 3x. So we still have a bunch of x's to account for. So then we just write the next coefficient down the line plus 7. And again that's not, not a high enough power so we just put another parentheses and write an x there. Then the next one we're going to want to do plus 5, another set of parentheses, and then we have an x. So now if you multiply everything back out you will notice that we will have exactly what we had up above. We have an x that's going to go through the first set of parentheses, another x, and another x. So basically your x will be multiplied by x three more times which will make it x to the fourth power when you're all done. So I'll leave that to check for yourself but really we're just looking at the coefficients and multiplying x's through. And the reason this is nice is you can plug in values into your function very quickly and do some nice mental math tricks. So for instance if you would want to plug 2 into the top form of this polynomial it's a little bit cumbersome to do uh, all the evaluation but uh, well, let's even say 3, because 3 would be a bigger number, but um, we'll notice down here we'll get a nice 0 coming through. So if you plug 3 in, you'll get 0 plus 7, so you'll just have 7 times 3 is 21, plus 5, 26, times 3 again, um, which will be 78 minus 2 is 76. So you, you can do some of those very quickly, um, just with some basic mental math. Um, so let's move on to the depression examples. So this is basically how we can turn a uh, cubic polynomial into a uh, how we can eliminate the degree 2 term from a cubic polynomial. And this is actually how they uh, went about solving the cubic equation in general, this method. So it's very nice. Uh, really that's all we're going to do is make a clever substitution a translation substitution. So whenever you have a cubic, so a degree 3 polynomial, and we want to get rid of this uh, squared term, what we do is we look at the coefficient 3 and we replace, so we substitute x minus, in this case it will be 3 over 3, which is equal to x minus 1 in 4x. So if you had a different more complicated polynomial, uh, say the second term instead of 3x squared were something like 6x squared, instead what you do is you'd replace it by x minus 6 over 3 which would be x minus 2 instead of x. So once we do this we are just going to put in an x minus 1 wherever there is an x in the formula. So instead of x cubed we'll have x minus 1 cubed Instead of x squared, we'll have x minus 1 squared. And instead of x, we'll again have one more x minus 1. And now when we rewrite this polynomial, multiplying everything out, we'll, we'll watch and see cleverly that the uh, squared terms all cancel. So multiplying out x to minus 1 to the third is like x minus 1 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 3 times
times x squared minus 2x plus 1. Uh, and then there's nothing to distribute for the x minus 1, so I can just drop the parentheses there. And one more step of multiplying. So this last term will get really big. x to the third power minus 2x squared um, plus x minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 plus 3x squared minus 6x plus 3 plus x and then negative 1 and 2 you can put those together and make it plus 1. Okay so then just go about and combine your like terms there's only one x to the third power and now our x squared terms 2x squared minus 2x squared minus x squared and plus 3x squares what do you know those all cancel out exactly like we'd expect. Now let's find the x terms um, double underlining all of these just to account for them. So x and 2x is 3x, minus 6x is minus 3x, plus x will leave us with minus 2x. And then we just have um, a minus 1, a plus 1, and a plus 3, which will leave us with plus 3. So plus 3 equals 0. So that is how we've depressed this form and use this clever substitution to eliminate the uh, squared term. So that's it. Um, I hope you uh, will have no problem doing the project now. Uh, the first one is writing a nested polynomial like the first example we did, and the second one is a depression substitution to eliminate the squared term. Okay, thanks and have fun.